Hey dolls! Okay, who is excited for a room tour? Okay, so I have made YouTube videos for practically a year now and I still haven't done a room tour so this is my very first room tour. I am so excited to do this room tour for you guys. I am so excited. So, um, first of all, I want to apologize for any shortness of breath or the shakiness of the video. As you guys know, room tours are usually filmed by just holding the camera and going with the flow and explaining a lot. So, this is actually going to be part one. Um, I will be making a part two. There is a part two. I didn't want to make it so excessively like one long video. So, I actually broke it up into parts. Um, I will upload them back to back though so it's easy to find and everything um excuse me um I also want to tell you guys that my walls are completely blank um on one side so just ignore that I kind of explain it a little bit more in part two of the video so um this is this is part one so uh let me know what you guys think below um any tips or tricks that you know making spicing up my room a little bit um I'd love to hear it if it doesn't involve you know spending a fortune but um anyway I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did filming it for you guys that my computer's battery is dying but anyway um I actually just got back from the dentist so my teeth is my teeth is my teeth is all clean my teeth are all clean so I'm like way excited I'm actually having an awesome day so yeah I'm just gonna stop blabbing and here's the room tour enjoy okay so I'm staying outside my bedroom door and we're going to oh you can see my uh record flash but anyway so we're gonna open my door up and it's very squeaky so all right so we open my door there's the squeak and you can see that this is what you see when you open the door so here's just an overview I'm just gonna show you an overview real quick and then I will show you everything piece by piece so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is behind my door Behind here, I just have a couple random jackets, and this is my laptop bag. Um, when I go somewhere, I carry my laptop in this along with like um, other stuff that I need. Uh, there's a couple jackets there. So just a hook with, or there's a few hooks here. Um, there's actually my pool bag, or my beach bag is there as well. So then we turn around this way, and on this side of the door, you see my Hello Kitty wall. Um, I have a little Barbie sticker right there, but these keys I actually got in Disneyland uh, years and years ago. I have a random ponytail holder right here. I do not know why, so just ignore that. Um, but then I have my Hello Kitty wall, and then I have my little A right there, along with like this little thermometer. It's just got like a little chipmunk on it, and my walls are black, as you can see. But we go down the Hello Kitty wall. Let me step back. So here's a Hello Kitty wall, and we go down, and I plan on doing an updated nail polish collection video, but that is my nail polish rack that I made myself. No, I will not be doing a tutorial on it, but when I show my updated nail polish collection, I will post a link to a tutorial in that video, so stay tuned for that. Then over here, I have an electric guitar, which I've never played in my life, that I'm trying to sell. And then I have my tripod, which is just right there. Then right here in this little three-drawered contraption, I just have all various different kinds of like craft supplies. Like here's m my deco stuff, and then in this one I actually have like my PS2 is stored in there because I don't play it very often anymore. And then in here I just have like phone cases and stuff. So there is that. And then on top I have my purse, and then I have a box full of stuff that is for my online shop, as well as my deco um, stuff, and just some random bandana. Whew, I'm getting out of breath already. And then in here I have all my soda tab jewelry that I've made that's also on my store. And then we move right here, and I'll do an overview real quick. So there's the Hello Kitty wall. And the next thing you probably notice is my squirrel collection. My boyfriend actually built me this shelf so I could store all of my squirrels on it. So that is my squirrel collection. I used to have a huge thing for squirrels, and you can see my my little pony collection with the exception of that little Barbie right there. But um, my p little pony collection is on top of the television. But um, anyway, so there's my huge squirrel collection. You guys probably didn't know I collected squirrels. I used to collect squirrels. I don't so much anymore. 
But then up here on the dresser, I just have my VCR, my DVD player. I have a candle burning right now. This is actually cherry lemonade. And so there's that. And then I have a few DVDs right there. Um, and then this shelf right here, this little, I don't know what you want to call this, a little stand or something. I just have a lot of my old stuff from like, um, my school yearbooks are right there. And then I have some craft supplies up there. And then over here I just have some binders full of like my drawings and stuff. And then I have a lot of picture frames that I have yet to put up on my walls. And then that binder right there is actually full of Pokemon cards. Mm-hmm. I collected and still do collect Pokemon cards. And then over on this side of my dresser, I have my bows up there in my little stand. And then over here, I have um, uh, da -da 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 spray paint for when I do like either soda tab jewelry or just like various different craft projects. In here, I have the... Um, do, 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 do. the phone cases that are for sale on my online store um, and then underneath I literally just have like a couple just storage places this one is full of old pictures and just a random printer cord that's in there um, in here I have 3d glasses regular glasses pens pencils old phone cases that I probably should just throw out um, but there's just like a bunch of just random stuff in there and then in my little Hello Kitty jewelry box, there's just a bunch of random miscellaneous little things that I just couldn't find a place for. And back here in my Wizard of Oz one, there is just hair clips, barrettes, um, just different kind of hair stuff. And then over here, there are, I have two Vicks vaporizing rubs because when I get sick, I like to put it under my nose. And then in here, I just have some random little lotions. I have a couple Playboy Bunny, um like uh, foot creams, foot lotions, and then a couple shower gels and stuff. So that's what's in there. And then in here I have spare nail clippers and uh, nail tips. And then below um, I just have, what's in there? Oh, I have a couple cabochons and stuff for Deco Den, so I don't lose them. It's for um, another case that I'm going to make. And then I also have toe separators. So um, there's that. So again, a quick overview of my dresser. I've had this dresser ever since I could remember. It was my great-grandmother's, I believe. But I did the best that I could getting the stickers off. But these two stickers that would not come off are the two Pokemon ones that are on there. So if you see those in my videos in the background, um, just ignore it. But so there's my dresser. And um, the top two drawers are just socks and then undergarments. And then this one is t-shirts and like long sleeves that I wear frequently. And then down here are pants and shorts. And then underneath are all of my shoes. Literally all of my shoes are under there. I only have about, uh, I want to say 15 to 20 pairs, if that. Um, I can do a shoe collection if you guys really want me to, but literally this is how I store my shoes. Not in boxes or anything, they're just kind of stored under there. You can see how my Converse are on top of my um, my flip-flops right there. But anyway, so there's that. And then, moving on, we have my television. Now I have a story with the television. Um, underneath of it, let me actually walk over here. Underneath of it, if I pull this back, you can see is actually another television. The reason I have two TVs is because the one belonged to, I believe it was my great-great-grandmother or just my great-grandma or something, but um, the reason that I have two is because laying on my bed you can't see the TV and it's on the floor. So my boyfriend let me borrow one of his televisions, one of, one of his big screens, so um, we could set it up here because he always likes to watch videos and stuff when he comes over. So there's the story behind the TV. Um, on this little shelf, I guess you could call this, is just my battery charger for my camera with my batteries, my clock. Uh, remotes, and then I also have my game controllers, again, for my PlayStation, which I, like, never play anymore. And then we travel down here. Um, this bag right here, this Barbie bag, is just full of stuff that I use to ship out my packaging. So all of my packaging and stuff, you can see some bubble mailers sticking out of it, um, the uh, tissue paper, all the stuff that I use to ship out my items from my online store are in there. And then there's a couple random purses that are for sale. 
on my online store right there. And then in this little basket right here, it is a basket. And in there I have um, purses, bags, scarves, and hats. So those are like all the purses, bags, and scarves that I have. Um, I, like I said, I um, went through my room and I cleaned out a lot. So I don't have that much stuff as much as I used to, which is totally amazing because I feel like I'm not so much a clutter bug anymore. But then right here, I just have my camera bag is down there, and I have a little animal playpen. The reason I have that little animal playpen is because when I had my rat, Nala, um, her cage used to be right here, but um, she actually passed away the other day, so um, I used to play with her outside and stuff, and I would take that little pin and let her run around outside a little bit. And then behind that, I have my printer, which I am in the process of trying to hook up and everything. Um, I'm probably just going to end up putting a desk in this area and then put my printer on top of it so I can finally be able to print things and stuff. And then um, there's just a box right there. This is full of all my um, palette packagings and just a couple little boxes and stuff that I've gotten from Etsy shops. Then up here on the wall, I just have this little... Um, Husky backpack that has nothing in it. It's just there for decoration pretty much with some Hello Kitty ears I just threw on top of it. And then my little dear Bambi backpack. Sorry for all the fingerprints on my walls. That's the one thing about um, black walls that I do not like is that they do show fingerprints. So if you're thinking about painting your walls black, think twice because easily get covered in fingerprints. As you can see. <laughs> so um, anyway, moving on to my bed. Let me back up here so I can get the whole thing. I have a king size bed and this is my bed right here and there is Rebel. Uh, can you say hi? Can you say hi viewers? Can you say hi YouTube? Can you say hi? Hey look at me. I love you. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Okay he's not gonna say hi. But anyway, so starting over here, I got a rid of a lot of stuffed animals, you guys, as you could probably already tell. Um, they used to all be back over here, but now the ones that I've kept are over there, and then there's two just random ones. My boyfriend gave me that teddy bear for Valentine's Day. He gave me that teddy bear for a Valentine's Day, and then my Care Bear pillow. And yes, guys, I have a Blue's Clues pillow, and I have a 101 Dalmatian pillow. And then that pillow back there that says love ya, he also got me that. And a lot of my pillows are just like mounded up right there in the corner because that's kind of how I sleep. I sleep like this. Um, but anyway, so there is more stuff back there. And then I piled up my blankets and then the stuffed animals that I did keep. I'm not going to go through all of my stuffed animals, but there's the little stuffed animals that I've kept. And then as for my big tiger rug, my boyfriend actually won this for me at the first county fair that we ever went to together. But yeah, he won this at like one of the ring toss games or something like that. But I just like to display it on my bed because it goes really well with my blanket, my leopard blanket. So there is my bed. And then up here is actually, I call this my memory board. It's basically just a board dedicated to... Uh, all my memories, pretty much, like with my boyfriend, and there's a lot of pictures with my boyfriend, like, there's one up there, there's one over there, our button from when we went to the fair, um, and I just trail down, and there's pictures of family, friends, the dog that I had before Rebel that looks kind of like him, a couple bracelets are there, a couple armbands from just random, like, mud bogs that I went to with the boyfriend, or just the fair and stuff. Um, then my window's up there, nothing fancy with that. And then there's another window right there. I have my karaoke machine, and then I also have my uh, stereo right there. <sighs> and then we move over, and guess what, guys? I'm actually going to make this a part two. So, this is the end of part one, so keep in tune to my channel for part two.